Hey everybody, Claudine and I'm here today. I'm doing a review on the Monster High Freak Du Chic Goliope Jellington, and this doll is larger than Unlife. Okay, yeah, she's 17 inches, but she is actually gigantic. Like her limbs and everything are huge. She is gigantic. This is Goliope Jellington, daughter of Unknown. Freak Du Chic. And then we have her gorgeous artwork. The only thing I don't like about this is that she is, um, like, crouching down in the box. However, the box is really cool because it makes it look like she's breaking through with, like, some glass, um, breaking over here. So she's breaking through from the box. We see that we have her, um, artwork here. So it's Goliath B. Jellington. And then on the back, 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 we see her bio and then her. So I'm gonna read a little bit of her bio because she is a really interesting character. She's actually the first Monster High orphan um, where we don't know what her parent actually is. We're assuming she's the blob. Um, will I be Jellington? Uh, breakout star of Freak Do Chic, favorite activity, her pet, freaky flaw, killer style, all of that's right there. And then you can also check them out on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more. And her box is a little different from the other Monster High dolls. I mean, I can't explain how. I think it's just uh, that it's open more. Like, there's more window panes that you can see through. And the box is really cute. Like, if I zoom in down here, you see that there's um, a couple familiar silhouettes pointing up at Goliope. Like, whoa, she is gigantic. <laughs> And now, let's unbox her. I cannot wait to unbox her. She looks amazing. Here is Goliope Jellington, deboxed. And she is crazy big. So we're gonna start off with her accessories. She includes a plate-looking stand. So the stand is literally gigantic, especially in comparison to other Monster High stands. It could honestly pass as a small dinner plate. Of course, it's staying true to the original Monster High stand where it says Monster High, and it has like the little design on it. She also includes a diary. It says Goliope Jellington, and it doubles as a poster for the playset that came out for the Freak Du Chic dolls. So it says Freak Du Chic on the back, but it is a diary. It's a short little diary. Uh, something that you'll see, it says Experiment 816, Batch 8708. And it says about me, and you get her full diary, or full bio. And then, let's start off with the comparison, actually. <clears throat> Starting off with their feet, even Goliope's feet are a lot larger than... We can see that. She is literally a lot bigger than any of the other Monster High dolls. So starting off with her shoes, she has like a reddish magenta shoe. Um, and on the back we see like a really detailed skeleton of a horse. And it's obviously resembling the carousel because she, it has like the stick through it. I don't think they're that morbid. So um, it is a carousel horse. And then it looks like all these uh, circusy designs, like it would light up or something, like like the carousel. On the front, it shows um, kind of a swoop here with the skullette in black. And as we work our way up her legs, they are blob-like. And no, I know that they have different joints. However, um, this doesn't like come out or anything, but it is posed differently. Like you can move her leg and thigh and twist it and everything, so it's, it's a bit different. Her dress has tulle down here, like the signature Frig Du Chic dresses. So it's like black and white, and then it's kind of jagged cut. Circusy. Try to get the light up here. We see that she has a satin gown here, and it has like these different circus banners and different things going on. She has the uh, Frig Du Chic belt in black and white. Her top is a intricate design. And then if I show you this, she, her limbs are removable, so her hands do come out like a regular Monster High doll. And then of course they just go back in, and her arms do come out, but somewhere else, because the joints are different. So that way, she has to put that back on. That's how that works. And then she has her collar with the epaulets on the side. And it says 816, which I think is just a pun on big. At first, so there's like this big conspiracy to it, but I think it just means big. <laughs> it's just a pun on that. 
And then up here is her gorgeous face up. The only thing I don't like about her face up is the red lips. I think it would look better like a light pink, but she still looks really gorgeous. And her head is not like squishy like other monster idols. It's pretty um, sturdy. She does have like a sheer um, pearl glow to her, if you notice that. She has blue eyes with the toxic waste symbol on the inside. And then her hair, she has a cut in a bob. She has saran hair in magenta and yellow. And it is, again, it's a bob. It's pulled over into a bang over here. And then she has a C, or not a C calliope, <laughs> a calliope as her headband, just like a piano thing, but it is a calliope. And that's her headband. And that is Calliope Jellington. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below what you think of her, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.